Monday, May 23rd, 2022, the SPC issues a large 2% tornado threat area across West Texas. I chose to target the West Texas Panhandle as models showed supercells initiating there. However, along the way, I saw a storm developing near Aspermont, Texas, developing a hail core and broad rotation, and decided to initially target that cell. This storm would turn out to be very pretty and photogenic with the precipitation core and a uh, semi-discrete structure behind the Twin Mountains near Aspermont, Texas. However, chasing this storm would end up being a huge mistake as it would make me 30 minutes too late to see this. The Aspermont storm would quickly weaken and I would head towards the West Texas Panhandle and intercept the storm that had produced the Morton Wedge. And I would end up seeing several smaller tornadoes produced by this storm. When I initially arrived on the storm, it was very dusty and rain wrapped. Oh, it could be one now, but you wouldn't know because it's completely rain wrapped. There could easily be one down in there. Some people are still getting closer. Coming footage shows my first small brief tornado of the day. It's down, it's on the ground, it's on the ground. Is it paved? very close to us and it's spinning very fast I'll just say right now we need to be The upcoming footage shows the supercell drastically re-intensified to produce another large stovepipe tornado. That's getting really strong. No shit, we're not gonna stay here long. Yeah, slowly. It is. Is that a funnel? It can keep itself held together. Look at the spin. The wall is becoming a little less organized. Oh, that's just... For a second at least. Just give it time. Down the right. The scud rising in. Mm-hmm. What's that dark spot? You see that dark spot that just formed right in the middle of that? What the fuck is that? I don't know, but I see all this stuff. That might be another wedge. 
this point, the tornado became obscured by rain and low clouds passing in front of the tornado. At this point, as the tornado became hard to see and move closer, it became clear that we need to get the fuck out of there. Go down now, at least intermittently. Mom, get out! Come on! Come on, come on! <laughs> Let's go, Storm! That might be Scud. See the Scud where a brief fell and it's already falling apart? This is good. The, the clouds that rise up into it. I think, I think it's a brief fell and it's already falling apart because it's still there. Around this time, the storm to our south was producing tornadoes. The power flashes in the next clip are likely from one of these tornadoes. Oh, I seen it! Yeah, there's one down over there, yeah. probably big. In fact, I think I can see. I think I can kind of see the outline of it. I can. It's gotta be. I've seen the flashes, baby. Outlook for the next day, Tuesday, May 24th, was even more promising, with an enhanced risk and a 5% tornado threat over central Texas. The result would be a beautiful high precipitation photogenic supercell south of Brownwood, Texas. Pretty rain wrap the core circulation. I think that might be a wall cloud on the right of that mezzo. You see it? That little lowering? Yeah. It's rain wrapped as hell.
doesn't look like anything's down though. That structure is beautiful. That's not a cough, that's a storm spotter. Pretty sure it's a storm spotter. Yeah. That wall cloud is really gonna try. I see why they say violent three in jail. Jesus Christ. This is over here spinning like a top. It's kind of a dark spot in the middle there. Yeah.
Missing the Morton Wedge Tornado was undeniably heartbreaking. I mean, it was obviously the tornado of the year and one of the most photogenic tornadoes I've ever seen a picture of. However, I would still consider this chase event to be an extreme success. Stowe intercepted numerous tornadoes on Monday, including that large stove pipe that not very many people saw. And then on Tuesday, I saw one of the most beautiful supercells I've ever seen with incredible color, the most green blue colored supercell I've ever seen. And the structure was absolutely phenomenal and saw many periods of tight rotation. Honestly, the supercell may have even dropped a few tornadoes in its lifespan as rotation definitely did get tight enough, but it was definitely hard to tell considering how rain wrapped the storm is so we will just have to wait and see what the final storm reports say but i definitely have to say i'm definitely satisfied with what i have seen over the past two days monday and tuesday